Hello and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. My name is Dylan Jones and today I'm going to show you how to use Trimble Access for staking with a reference alignment. So when talking about staking with a reference alignment, what we mean is that when we're staking out an alignment, we would want to show our current positions, station and offset relative to a reference road. From there, we want to record the design and reference alignment as stake details which is great for people who stake out DXF or land XML files and staking out transitions, tapers, turn lanes, and other features such as this while still being able to reference another alignment such as the road center line. This feature was released in Trimble Access Roads in version 2019.00. An important note, you cannot select a reference road when staking out using the traditional menu selection format you will need to use the graphical stakeout method instead. This can be turned on when you're in the Select Road screen by clicking the Options button at the bottom of the screen and selecting Graphically from the menu selection. Click Accept and be on your way. Okay, I'm in Roads right now. And if I look in my layers, I have a DXF file which contains these two lines, there's my center line, and then here is my back curb. And so what we need to do to reference our center line while staking out our curb line is to convert both of these to an RXL file really quick. So this is very simple. Select the line one at a time, tap and hold, and click Store Road. Quickly hit accept unless you need to fix the start station and station interval. And this will store as the name of the line. So back of curb here. And I already had one in there, so disregard that. I'm going to now select the center line, tap and hold, store road, accept. Now I want to stake out. Um, my back of curb. So I'm going to click menu, stake out, stake out roads, and I want to stake out back of curb. Next, antenna height, next, and now I'm going to tap and hold on the map screen, choose, sorry, select reference road, Center line is my reference road. Hit accept. And I'm going to just, for example, stake out uh, this station here on my back of a curb. Um, add in a defined construction offset. So I just did that by tapping and holding on the map. Three foot. Accept. You will see that now as I zoom in. And hit start. Okay, so my position's roughly right here. This is my back of curb with three foot horizontal offset. And down at the bottom, we see reference road named center line. Station is whatever, horizontal offset. I can click this arrow here. There's my go forward, backwards, left, right, which is two my um, back curb horizontal offset. This is a little misleading here. This should say vertical distance to alignment or to the road, which is the back of curb right now. Hit the arrow again. This is our live stationing for back of curb. So here, two plus 93, four foot offset. Hit the arrow one more time. Reference road, two plus 91, 27 foot offset. Let's just quickly do a measurement. Here we see in the confirm as stake deltas, we have our design road, which is back of curb. And then down below reference road, which is the center line, stationing and offset. Observation stored. That concludes this Frontier Precision Tech Talk. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. We hope you learned something beneficial and will join us again next time.